Hello and welcome to the Lawrence County Football Show. This week eight, and you got to ask yourself, where did it all go? So um, get ready and uh, let's talk about the Mohawk Warriors. Um, as um, we move into this, well, it's uh, senior week for a lot of people that play their last game away. Mohawk Warriors, they will um, be taking on Elwood City Lincoln this week. And that will be down at Elwood City. Now, this will be an interesting game as the Warriors and Elwood City Lincoln both have to find a win. <laughs> if it ends in a tie, both could be winless this season. Um, this will be an interesting game. Uh, hats off to Elwood. I, I think that with the schedule and the experience, this could be Elwood's uh, win. Uh, as uh, with uh, these last two games Elwood will finish up with uh, Brentwood and that's in Pittsburgh as the Mohawk Warriors finish with Summit Academy so um, give advantage to the hometown uh, Elwood City Lincoln team that could find a win this week. Now, um, as we continue on, let's take a look at New Wilmington as uh, they uh, have undefeated football on their minds and um, they are rolling along. Now, um, this week, as you take a look at their schedule, first of all, they've been rolling over everybody by huge scores. This week, they take on Hickory. And um, that'll be at Hickory. And that will allow them to complete an undefeated season. Good luck, Wilmington, as you take on the Hornets, and uh, <laughs> going to be a, a great game. I definitely give advantage New Wilmington. So, uh, as the Greyhounds look for a win. Now, um, as we get and start to uh, close out one more one more team before we get to the break and that is the Nishanic Lancers the Lancers having this some um, I don't want to say up and down season but uh, definitely had uh, their issues on the to four and four at home. Now, the Shannon Lancers will take on Wesley Beaver. This game, Shannon. Okay. And, um, this game for the Lancers would be absolutely no ball. Finish out uh, season now. We'll be senior, Shannon, so uh, give advantage to the Shannon as all pumped up. Uh, definitely to close. Alley's Upper Crust at 1700 Highland Avenue has a full menu pizza, roll ups, salad 
soup, sandwiches, strombolis, dinners. They are just great for dine-in or take-out. Don't forget to give them a call at 724-652-7553. It's Allie's Upper Crust. Tuscany Square Restaurant, 3470 Wilmington Road, where old world charm meets today's modern conveniences. You'll enjoy their spacious, comfortable seating. Hi friends, I'm Gary West, and whether you find Augustine's Pizza at your local grocery store, well, the folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions. Welcome back, and uh, good news this week, if you kind of look at it, as the Union Scotties uh, said they will play another football season. Now, um, Union, one of the smaller schools in the PIA and the PIL, uh, this week goes to take on Sacred Heart and that'll be down there the Advantage Sacred Heart as down in it's in Coriopolis they'll be um, they'll be all pumped up that'll be a difficult game for the Scotties but thank goodness they'll be coming home against West Green um uh, They'll be traveling up here from Waynesburg for their senior night. And uh, the Scotties have a chance for another win at the end of the season. And uh, good luck, Union. I'm sure they're looking forward to that. Now, um, the Shenango Wildcats have found themselves a way to win. As they're three and one at home and three and one on the road, giving them a six and two record, and uh, that has uh, propelled them through the season as they take on New Brighton. Now, uh, with games, they don't have any easy games left. They got to go at New Brighton and then take on the Shannon at home. Of course, the Shannon game at home. That's a cross-town rivalry. Uh, the New Brighton game, that's going to be a little tougher on the boys from Shenango. But I look for them to hang in there. And anything can happen in a close game as they eye up a real possibility of making the playoffs. Pick Shenango in an upset as uh, the Wildcats get and have a chance to make the playoffs and they upset New Brighton. Now, um, the Laurel Spartans. The Laurel Spartans, definitely a playoff team. And uh, Laurel finding ways to win as they're three and one at home and two and two on the road, giving them a five and three record, they take on Stowe Rocks, and that is at Laurel. So um, then they're going to play Northgate at home. They've got two home games, and this could be a night of upsets as Stowe Rocks traveling up to Laurel. If you haven't been there for a while, they play you tough at home. So um, give the advantage to Laurel as uh, I look to Laurel win their last two games, both at home. Senior night will be next week, but this will be a big win and could propel them into the playoffs. Now, um, the Lawrence County football show moving on and um, we've talked about 
everybody in the county next up The Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge in the food from their pleasing menu. The Cedars features Mediterranean, pub food, Middle Eastern cuisine, and so much more. They're open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars on the east side at 827 Addis Street, Newcastle. If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Coney Island, downtown Newcastle, on Kennedy Square. The Crane Room is a restaurant. The Crane Room is a bar. The Crane Room is a banquet facility. The restaurant will please you time after time with their diverse menu. Ask about their daily specials. See the menu at craneroom.com. The bar gives you an abundance of choices with 35 beers on tap and always changing. Their banquet services are always to perfection. The Crane Room, located at 3009 Wilmington Road in Ashanic Township. Call 724-656-1553. Hello and a very pleasant welcome back to the Lawrence County Football Show. The Newcastle Red Hurricane travel to Highlands, the Trona Heights, to take on the Golden Rams. Now, um, a little information on the Golden Rams. They're two and six. They've had uh, some tough games, losing losing the first three, and which includes the third one to Blackhawk, losing to Knock, winning against Beaver, winning against Ambridge, okay, then losing to Montour and South Fayette. The end of their season looks like Newcastle and Greater Latrobe. Excuse me, this is their senior night. Now, this will be a dogfight when you consider this. The Newcastle Red Hurricane are in a playoff hunt. They need wins as um, some of the other teams will be playing an end of the season crossover game. The Red Hurricane have games against Highlands and Ambridge. Now, when you look at the standings in the Northwest 8, you have South Fayette, who is undefeated. But here is the real juggernaut. Blackhawk has two losses. That against Montour and Knock. Well, that against South Fayette. And then, I believe, Montour. Newcastle has two losses against Blackhawk and South Fayette. And Knock, of course, having three losses. Now, the way this plays out is the top four teams go. If Newcastle beats the Golden Rams, who are two and four, and Newcastle should win, they will go on to play Ambridge, who is 0 and 5, and basically 0 and 8 on the season. Now, Blackhawk playing arch rival Beaver Falls, and then rival number two, Beaver. If Beaver finds a way to win against Blackhawk, that will propel Newcastle into the number two position, with Newcastle having wins over Montour and Knock, and give Blackhawk a four and three record, same as the Knock Knights. And by virtue of the fact that Newcastle had beaten both of those teams, and the fact that um, Blackhawk, uh, I, I believe they lost to the Knock Knights. As uh, we take a look at the Blackhawk record, uh, 
this could be a real interesting yeah, round for Blackhawk. Blackhawk playing Beaver Falls tonight and then Beaver next week and that's at Beaver so um, they while they beat Montour okay they lost 21-20 to knock so if they end the season with the same record as the knock Knights Blackhawk would essentially be out of the playoffs it would be South Bay at Newcastle, Montour, and Knock. Uh, so this an all-important game for the Newcastle Red Hurricane. And um, these last two games, truly important for, uh, for Blackhawk. Give advantage to the Newcastle Red Hurricane as um, I think they'll be playing some inspired football and um, should come away with two wins. But let's not let's not discount Highlands. It'll be their senior night. It'll be a dog fight. But as they go down the stretch, Canes will pull away with the of their specialty guys, and uh, it will be right here. On N45. So, um, this is the Lawrence County Football Show. We hope you enjoyed it. And uh, by all means, let's um, get on out to the games and um, 